here I have a half cup or four fluid ounces of evaporated milk and I've warmed it in the microwave for about 20 seconds a good temp for your liquid to activate your dry yeast will be somewhere between 110 to 115 so here I have two and a quarter teaspoons of dry active yeast right in there and I'm just going to let it sit here for about 10 minutes until it's frothy and foamy on top. That is the indication you're looking for to make sure that you are working with active yeast. So my yeast is definitely alive and activated. This is what you're looking for. It, it's basically foamy and has puffed up. Okay, I'm ready to put this dough together. Here I have four cups of bread flour. Now you definitely can use just all-purpose flour. But the texture of bread flour, it has a higher protein in the flour. So when you start working up the gluten and the protein, it does give you a better texture for breads and rolls. But, you know, I understand if you only have all-purpose flour, you definitely can use that. Here I have around four cups. I will be putting the weighted measurements in the description below for more accuracy. So if you're measuring this, four cups, you want to make sure you fluff the flour, scoop it, and level it off. That's what I did for these four cups. Now, if your four cups are compacted, then it's going to give you more flour to the ratio of liquids in this recipe, and it will change the texture of your dough. So bear that in mind when you are making this. Now I'm adding two-thirds cup of sugar. I like to say this is optional. I, you can still make conchas without the, a lot of these things that I'll be putting in, these three ingredients. I like the usage of citrus zest. Sometimes I use orange. Today I'm using a half teaspoon of lemon zest, a quarter teaspoon of ground anise, which is ground anise seeds, and a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon. This adds wonderful flavor to your conchas, but it also is optional because you might not have this on hand or you might not want to use it. So it's up to you. And the zest. I'm going to just give that a mix. Three room temperature large eggs. I'm going to beat them first. I'm going to add my beaten egg. One tablespoon of vanilla extract. I'm using Mexican vanilla extract. Use what you got. And I'm going in with my yeast milk mixture. And I just find if you start it and mix it, while in the bowl, especially a plastic bowl, it, it helps lessen the mess. One stick of butter, eight tablespoons of unsalted butter. So I'm gonna drop maybe half of it in and kind of just spread it and mix it in. It's softened. Okay. Okay, so at this point, I'm just going to take a little bit of my shortening, kind of wipe it on my work surface, and I'm going to start kneading and mixing this on my work surface. And I will be sprinkling all-purpose flour at some point if it gets too out of hand, if, it, if you find your dough t a little too tacky to work with, then you can definitely add just, you know, a sprinkle of flour, all-purpose flour or whatever flour you're working with. So I'm going to continue kneading this until the dough really comes together. I've worked to the gluten and it'll sort of become like a smooth ball. And this will take some time, especially since we all add different pressures and muscle when we knead by hand. You probably could do this in a stand mixer as well to make life easier, but I went with my hands today. I had help from my husband. We took turns and we needed this dough. So it is ready to be rested. And the gluten definitely has been worked. So I'm going to place it in a buttered or oiled glass um, bowl, a large bowl. And I'm going to rest this 
until it doubles in size and that time will vary. It may take an hour, it may take two hours, it just depends. You wanna put it in a non-drafty place. I'm going to cover this with cling film and rest it in my oven. Okay, so for the topping of the conchas, it is a combination of all-purpose flour, powdered sugar, and butter. It's one stick or eight tablespoons of softened butter. Here I have one and a quarter cups of confectioner sugar or powdered sugar, and this is one cup of all-purpose flour, and I'm just gonna combine them. And if you want to add food coloring or, for example, I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla extract to this. Um, you could also add cocoa powder for a chocolate flavored, but I'm just going to go with just a regular vanilla flavored, kind of cut it in. I, I could use a dough cutter actually, but I'm just going to sort of mash it in and start kneading it. Quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract works. So I'm just gonna go in with my hands and just start mixing it. And that worked, and this is the texture you want. You, you wanna be able to roll it, pat it, without it cracking too much. I'm gonna use my tortilla press to sort of press it out into a round disc, but you can actually roll it with a rolling pin or with your hand, you know, kinda of like that. But this is what we're going to cover our conchas with. Okay. So my dough is doubled in size, and it actually took a little over two hours for my dough to rise. I don't know if I'm just, my house is extra cold today or what, but here it is. And it smells so good. So I'm going to turn this out onto my work surface. I really don't want to add too much flour to this. I don't want to change the texture. So I'm going to make eight conchas out of this dough. And for accuracy, maybe weigh your dough and then divide it evenly, but I'm just sort of gonna eyeball it. And just kind of ball it up like that. And you can kind of roll it out a little bit. There you go. So I have my dough divided, eight conchas. So what I'm going to do now is place them on a baking sheet. I'm going to cover them with the topping and I'll show you how I do some of the designs using, I actually have a pizza cutter, you could use a knife or the little concha presses that kind of cuts out the shell look if you have those. And then I'm going to let the the dough rest or let my conchas rest for another 35 to 40 minutes and then we'll bake them. So for right now, let's start topping them. So my conchas are assembled. I covered them with um, just a little bit of cling film and I'm going to let them rest for about 45 minutes or it may be sooner. You want them to puff up, rest, and sort of double in size. So it has been 40 minutes and as you can see, my conchas are definitely rested and risen. So I am going to bake these in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about somewhere between 15 to 20 minutes. And I made little hearts on this one. I thought it was cute. <laughs> I'm 
Okay, so I'm going to tear into this so you could see how soft and chewy this dough is. Look at that. It's so soft and moist. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.